What's up YouTube? It's your boy Zach Lasage and you are watching the Rare Candy TCG YouTube channel. Today I want to go over a deck that I've been thinking over in my head, trying to figure out how to make it all work, and that goes over Caracosta GX. So you might be wondering, yo Zach, why are we looking at these Sword and Shield decks? Well, beyond online PTCGO events going on in the Sword and Shield format, we did see the release of Caracosta GX very late in this format. Like, basically within the past week or so of creating this video and I think it's interesting enough for players to use whether or not you bought this box because you're a collector or maybe you're a newer player to the game your mom picked this up for you at the store and you're like how do I play this card if you want to play Caracosta GX this video is where it's at and one last thing before we jump into it, I do want to let you know that PTCGO Store sponsors this channel. So if you're looking for any cards online on the Pokemon trading card game online, feel free to use the code RAREcandy to save 5% off your order. So if you're missing something like Caracosa GX, you could totally pick those up from PTCGOStore.com. And if you're a patron, you can use a special code that we have on our Patreon over there to save a little bit more. All right, let's jump into it. So we're looking at the ability, this Pokemon is 250 HP, it's a fossil Pokemon, so it's kind of hard to get out, but stay with me here. If this Pokemon has full HP, it takes 90 less damage from your opponent's attacks. So kind of this Pokemon has 340 HP. Ground Crush can do some decent damage, stop your opponent from retreating, and you could use Stone Age GX to get some unidentified fossil Pokemon um, from your discard pile onto your bench. So anything that evolves from unidentified fossils, so Aerodactyl GX, Tortuga, etc., etc. This deck runs off an ADP engine because we could use Altered Creation GX to draw extra prize cards and do more damage. And it's one of the best ways to power this Pokemon up. I've tried so many ways between doing a classic fossil deck with Karate Belts, or even just like other weird ways to power this up this version has been performing the best and yeah we got some cool stuff going on in here so you, basically you go alter creation gx ultimate ray power up caracosta gx and attack away if you're playing against a deck like picarom you do have aerodactyl gx to use wild dive gx or you can even use primal winds to slow down your opponent you also have caracosta to shut off your opponent's pokemon tool cards and you can get your Tortugas and Aerodactyl out early game with Pokemon Research Lab. So on your first turn, you can attach an energy to ADP, use Pokemon Research Lab, turn two, start evolving your Tortugas into Caracosta, Caracosta GX, and then use Altered Creation GX. Overall, the strategy works seemingly well, and we also get the bonus of buff padding. You might be wondering, how does this Pokemon have four retreat costs? Well, that Pokemon does have four retreat costs normally. So you could turn that 390 HP with high density armor or into 390 HP overall, which is quite a bit. So 340 to 390. And if your opponent has absolute in play, buff padding also allows you to have more HP in general. So that's what we got for the concept of this deck. Seems to be working pretty nicely overall, or as nicely as you can expect with the Caracosta GX. So let's jump into some games, see exactly what this deck can do. And I'm excited to showcase um, this exciting new concept because I don't think anyone else has really talked about this one. All right, so it looks like we're gonna be going first and this is definitely a deck that wants to go first. One cool thing about this deck playing mostly fossil Pokemon is that you should be starting with ADP or Jirachi every single game. I don't think there's any other basic Pokemon that we have in this deck. So looking over it, we got ADP or we have Jirachi. I'm still debating on who we want to start with, but we have Guzman Hala for next turn if we really need to get it out. So I'm going to start with the Jirachi. That sounds pretty neato. I'm going to leave this in my hand just so that I have proper decision making. Um, but it should be pretty simple. So there's that. There's that. We're just going to pitch this away. I mean, maybe I should have pitched away the Pokemon or another card, but um, let's do this. Let's do Stellar Wish. I mean, Tag Call seems like a good way to get out of this. Um, yeah, let's use Tag Call. And then let's just go for this, getting double Tortuga down on the bench. I mean, Aerodactyl GX might be cute in a matchup like this. I'm not entirely sure. But, you know, let's go with... Yeah, we need to probably power up that ADP to use Altered Creation. So let's get the double Tortuga. That sounds awesome. 
So next turn, we're ready to evolve into Caracosta GX or Caracosta. And really, like, our opponent's not going to know what type of deck we're playing. I do want to be brutally honest. Is this deck going to be Tier 1? No. Does this deck have some potential? Sure. This deck definitely could do some damage in a particular metagame. Not entirely sure how it's going to do that damage. Um, but it seems like this deck's fighting type, maybe it do well against Pikaram. Um, you have a lot of HP, maybe it's difficult for a Baby Blacephalon deck to knock out. There are some traits of it that are very strong. So it is something that I would invite you to explore. So my opponent's doing the same kind of strategy. We're playing against an ADP deck. This meta does have quite a few ADPs in it. Whether you're playing against ADP Spiritomb, ADP Taboo Coco, ADP Zacian, or even our own ADP Caracosta. Maybe we'll get a little bit of a wave going on with this deck. So, seeing exactly what our opponent's going to do here. Hopefully don't custom catcher up the Tortuga. Because I don't want to try to get that one into the active position. So just waiting to see what our opponent's going to do. Maybe they'll just go for... Uh, well, they can't even go for the first attack with Altered Creation at this point. Looks like they used Pokemon Research Lab to end their turn. So I'm going to go in with Tag Call, and I probably should have checked my deck first before we did anything. Our opponent's likely going to get some one-shots here, so I'm just going to pitch away these. So going into it, we will go for um, a Guzma and Hala to discard the two cards that we just got. And we can search through our deck for a Pokemon Research Lab. We, I'd like to grab a buff padding, but we have to get a skateboard to get it under the active. And we do need an Aurora Energy for ADP here. So with that being said, we can go in with Stellar Wish. And grabbing just like a Stady or a Supporter that can screw over our opponent's hand. Marnie seems like it'd be pretty good here. So let's do that. Let's go that We'll discard the Pokemon Research Lab. It's already done its part. There's our skateboard. Let's retreat. And I'm just going to leave this Martial Arts Dojo in our hands because our, our opponent might play a Shrine of Punishment in their deck. Um, let's go Unidentified Fossil. So we've got to play it like a Lily's Pokedol. And let's just go Altered Creation GX. So overall, I think we're pretty set up here in terms of what we should be doing. We've already done everything to the absolute most of our capabilities in this matchup. Now next turn it's going to be attack with ultimate ray and then powering up our Pokemon. Um, which is going to be hopefully a Caracosta. It would have been really nice to get out a Caracosta, or a Caracosta, the one that stops our tools. So we could stop their escape boards in their track. But that that's just hopeful wishing at this point. I mean, if our opponent really wants to use Marty, that they're giving us an extra card. Um, our hand's not particularly powerful here, and our opponent's getting less cards. So if anything, it's saving us from next turn. As long as we get an energy, we're pretty good. And yep, we got a better hand than we had before. Ooh. No! Don't bring up anything. Bring up the unidentified fossil. Okay, so now we gotta find a switch. Which this deck does play because we do have Jirachi in the deck. So it looks like our opponent's just going to be going for their ADP. And they're just trying to stop us from using our altered... Cre or they've, they've, I think they're trying to stop us from using Ultimate Ray. So there's a Water Energy. I'm going to attach that there. And our opponent has three cards in our hands. So let's go Professor's Research and try to get a switch. Ooh, and we, we out there. Okay, so they have no absolute play, so we're totally fine to switch into Jirachi. And let's see what we can get off Stellar Wish first. Actually, I think using Cherish Ball first is better. I don't necessarily care about Aerodactyl GX. We can't use Wild Dive, and I don't want to worry about Boulder Crush. So I'm just going to grab... Or actually, you want to go... We already have an Aerod uh, Caracost in our hand, so let's just grab the Aerodactyl GX. Let's go for Stellar Wish. And, I mean, yeah, we'll take another one of those. That's completely fine. So it looks like we're generally set up. There's an Aerodactyl GX. Aerodactyl GX has a lot of benefits. It has free retreat. We can use Boulder Crush and Primal Winds will stop their basic Pokemon from attacking right away. 
and there is the Caracosta GX that we're going to try to power up with our ADP. So let's go retreat into that and go for Ultimate Ray. So there's a solid 180 damage, 150 base, plus the extra little bits. One, two, three, four, five, so we're all good here. Our opponent's like, what is going on? They're like, this deck is terrible. How are we How are we about to lose to this? The numbers work out pretty nicely too with Martial Arts Dojo with this card because we're doing 160 plus an extra 30. So that's 190 and we could be doing 230 with Martial Arts Dojo or 200 damage. So our opponent looks like they're just getting set up here. Hopefully trying to find a few Zacians to power up with ultimate ray if they are able to get an energy but we will be able to knock out that adp so our opponent really needs to worry out worry for that i think we also have great catcher available in our deck too so if we knock out the adp then if we knock it into dene we're probably in a good spot so they have attached an energy there was that an energy <laughs> metal energy so they actually can't use ultimate ray this turn they might play energy switch they might play oh they might have the double metal saucer as well i'm totally fine if we can attack into this jirachi because the jirachi is worth two prize cards we'll see what our opponent decides to do here that's two heads on that that's not even fair what are they doing That's, that's actually like, I don't think they can get the knockout on this. We have 340 HP. I mean, we'll also take a larger hand. That hand's, this hand's significantly better. Oh wow, they did get it. We got the dojo, but not necessarily everything that we were looking for out of it. If they drew a prize card that turn, that'd be pretty busted. Huh. There's metal frying pan, so we won't be able to take the knockout on the Zacian because we're doing minus 30 damage. Okay, so they did a whopping 170 damage. We're kind of big old chilling with that. Let's go switch back into our Jirachi so we can make a proper move. At this point, I don't see any reason not to put Martial Arts Dojo down. Otherwise, it seems like it's going to get lost. Let's grab Energy Spinner to grab another energy out of our deck. Attach that there. At this rate, I'm kind of fine with shutting off our opponent's tools. Um, I'd like to grab the other Karakosa, so I'm going to use Marnie there. Okay, and we did not get it. That's okay, we can evolve into a Tortuga. I don't want to evolve that one, um, just because of the retreat cost. I mean, I guess we could also go Stellar Wish here. Buff padding seems kind of hot. Let's put buff padding, giving it a little bit more HP. Let's go retreat into this ADP. And hit him with Ultimate Ray. So this deck really thrives because it's it's bulky, it's got some healing cards, so it's a mid-range deck the same way that a Lucario Melmetal deck would be. Maybe not as consistent as Lucario Melmetal, but it doesn't necessarily suffer the same fire type matchup. We'll see what our opponent can do here. They've used a lot of resources, like they have the Metal Saucer, they have an Energy in their discard pile, an Energy Switch. Let's see what else they can do here going through a lot a lot a lot a lot and i'm surprised they didn't attach an energy maybe they're trying to go for the metal saucers even more i guess they do have three left of those how many switches do they have left three copy up to three copies of switch they're either getting kind of unlucky or their prize cards are kind of weird but now our plan is just to knock out this station and this dedene or however which order it works for us we're just trying to get 
six prize cards with two knockouts. I don't think our opponent is going to take a knockout this turn. Because they've already used three Pokemon catchers. That's that's really where it's going to hurt them a lot. Okay, there's an energy. Are they gonna get the metal saucer? There's a shrine. We do have a Pokemon research lab. One good thing is we can always get around our opponent's pesky stadiums. I mean chaotic spell kind of sucks to see in play sometimes. But Pokemon Research Lab does get around that. And if we can make it this far against the absolute best deck in the metagame, best deck in format Zation V, then this deck has a chance. It's also really fun to play because you're using Caracosta GX. It's a turbo Pokemon wearing that's kind of like a helmet. Yeah, I, I really like this Pokemon because it's underused. I mean, what's gonna? What, our opponent looks like they're trying to set up something magical here. See if they can get it. Okay, so they're playing the eight catcher version with a bunch of custom catchers and a bunch of Pokemon catchers. Are they going to take the knockout is the question. I think the fact that they didn't grab a metal saucer there means that they are not doing any knockouts this game. And we're just waiting here on our opponent. To make a move okay so they're just going with intrepid sword which is cool for us they got to take the shrine damage just as much as we do okay let's go cherish ball peep through this deck so no great catcher in there maybe we have the great catcher in our prize cards <laughs> maybe i took it out last minute and i'm just forgetting it um i will grab a caracosta gx out of the deck and I mean, let's just go Pokemon Research Lab. I don't necessarily want to be taking Shrine damage. And let's go Research here. Got an extra energy. I mean, that's cute. Still, none of the Caracosta that's going to stop our opponent's tool cards. But we could take the two damage counter, or the two prize cards here on the Jirachi and maybe be okay. Our opponent's going to be doing, what, the knockout with the Zacian V. So yeah, let's just start powering up, um, I guess, this here. We're never going to get out of anything else. So let's leave the rest of our hand for the way that we want it. Let's just go Ultimate Ray. And if we can get Great Catcher out of our prize cards, we're looking really good here. I mean, those definitely aren't great catcher, and that's why we're not being able to ultimate ray and power up other Pokemon. So this game's not without its issues. The biggest issue here is that our opponent's going to be able to do 260 damage to our active. And there's the Shrine of Punishment. Now they will only be able to draw three prize cards off of that. And they've used only one copy of Switch we don't necessarily have a strong way to get past the station V. So we're just running a little bit short. You could see like if we were able to attack those other two Pokemon, we'd be in a much better case. Does our opponent have the metal energy for the active? That's the big question. Will they be able to use Brave Blade on the active? Because if they don't, I think we're very safe. Well, not very safe, but like safe, safer. Okay, there's a Jirachi. Three metal saucers now, that's three of them. Ah. Now they're down to five cards left in their deck. 
Unless they prize a bunch of switches. This game's kind of... It's going all over. It's a crazy game. Metal frying pan. Pokemon catcher. Ah. That makes a lot more sense. So it's 260, then there's the Shrine of Punishment damage that's going to go in. How many energies have they played? It looks like they're playing toward Reclo's version of this deck. So they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I mean, they should have access to 3 more energies total. No Absalom play. I mean, Karakosas might be able to do something at this point. I've already gone through the Malolanas. I don't think that there's another... I don't think there's anything in this deck that necessarily saves us. We're going to be able to look at all five cards in their deck. So we'll just grab a switch there. How many switches have they played? They played two copies of switch. So we can't get that knockout. They could do enough damage with almost any Pokemon. I guess I just have to hope that their other energies are prized at this point. And if they are, that's cool. Let's just go retreat into the Caracosta GX and go for Ground Crush. So that does bring us down to one prize guard. Professor's Research. If the last card is the is the Grey Catcher, I mean, I, I've done some experimentation with this deck, so I might have taken it out before this game, and I might be going crazy here. Just the fact that they sent up Jirachi is an interesting point. Um, okay, there's a skateboard. But their skateboard doesn't work because of Caracosta. So, I mean... There's Great Catcher. If they play too fancy, they might be making a mistake. Like, I mean, they probably have a Switch anyways, because most of these lists play for Switch. But this Caracosta is shutting off their tools from working. So they need to get out of the active position and get an energy. Maybe they don't realize that what Caracosta is doing. Or maybe they're trying to figure out exactly how my Poka, how my ability works. Oh, they also now need an extra energy so they can't get the knockouts. This is uh, turning into a spooky game. Hmm. If they get Fiona here. They, it, it, it looks like they didn't have switch and then brought this up and then didn't realize about Primal wins. If I were to read about any, like any proper order of this tournament or any proper order here, um, I mean, what are they? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is next level. No, that was crazy. But um, it shows that, like how, how many weird things you have to watch out for when you're playing against this deck. Okay. Tails, and I lost a flip. Oh no, hopefully our opponent lets us go first. Oh my kidney. What's up, if you're watching this game, be sure to let us know in the comments below your thoughts on the game. And anyone who's watching this video, let me know on the, did I make any mistakes? Did anything go on? Feel free to let me know. I mean, this, this hand seems really good yeah, because we're going to have an energy with energy spinner or a few energies with energy spinner. We're going to have the ADP in our hands. So it looks like we're in a good spot. Oh, I'm definitely grabbing Aerodactyl GX out in this match.
this is definitely why we play Aerodactyl GX. I haven't actually played this matchup yet. I figured Aerodactyl GX could do enough damage. It looks like our opponent has a really good start here. For sure. There's big old switch. And I think our opponent's probably just going to grab what, a Tapu Koko here. Look at those beautiful bling energies. Wow. Totally nice. Matches the nice shiny deck box and shiny sleeves. Opponent must be really dedicated to PTCGO, which is awesome to see during a time like this, during this global pandemic. Fion. They don't even know what we playing. They have no idea. Okay. So let's go tag call here, search the deck. There's an ADP. I mean, is there anything else that we want to grab? Let's grab a Cynthia Caitlin so we have a draw supporter. Going through the deck. Let's go for a water metal uh, fighting energy. That we're ready for whatever our opponent throws at us. Let's go for Stellar Wish. They're probably like, what is this deck? This deck is literally insano dumb. Pokemon Research Lab, ADP. Let's grab a metal energy because metal energy is the more dominant type because you can use altered creation gx if you really wanted to um it's worth a prize card i mean that's probably fair we could always pitch that away if we really want to buff padding sounds cute they're probably not going to be taking any knockouts Let's just go try to get set up a little bit more. Okay. And for the Pokemon Research Lab, I think we're all good on that front. So let's go ahead and go Tortuga, Tortuga. And we can see that our Aerodactyl GX is unfortunately prized. So that's okay. We can use our ADP to get set up. Our opponent might be in an awkward spot. We don't know exactly what's in their hands. And we can discard this card at any given time. So we could just discard it being from the active position. That's pretty cool. I mean, they can use Chaotic Swell now. That's totally fine. It means that they're not using Thunder Mountain. So it looks like they're gonna be a turn behind because you, you can't play more than one stadium per turn. Big Charm. Be a great matchup for us to get out our ADP or our Caracosta. Oh, and they're just passing their turn there. Nice. Okay, so let's go Cherish Ball. Let's get out the Caracosta GX. They're probably like, what is this? Put that on there. Let's. I mean, there's no point of us not using Switch here. <clears throat> their hand doesn't seem great so i mean let's go for a professor's research if absolutely necessary putting buff padding there We're gonna get our energy off and let's retreat into our adp gx do i care about discarding those two cards 100 percent i do um do we want to use this to get a stadium card out i mean why not I don't see any reason why not. Let's just grab another Pokemon Research Lab and bump away their Chaotic Swell. I know it's going to discard it, but we weren't playing a supporter anyways. Let's just go for Altered Creation GX. Now we only need to take two prize cards here. So, or I guess not two prize cards, two knockouts. Whether it's a Pikaram and a Jirachi. Let's see what they got off this research. Their hand was a little bit better than I thought it was going to be. Okay, and they got the switch. 
So there's a uh, full blitz. So they did not knock us out. That's that's good to know. Oh, and they try they trying to snipe that bench. There's a uh, Caracosta. Let's get that set up. Let's do that and let's go research. Let's get another one of those out. And I feel pretty good with Altered Creation or with Ultimate Ray here. It would have been really nice to have a third energy. No. You can see that there's a. This deck still has a few kinks in it, but it is functional to this level. We are giving Pikaram a good run to its money, and Aerodactyl GX is prize this game, which would have allowed us to take a little bit of a better start against our opponent. Now, depending on what our opponent decides to hit, like, they're not doing too much damage here. So we'll see exactly what our opponent decides to do here. Pokemon catcher, no. Tails, okay, we'll take that. They're only doing the 80 damage there on the bench. So we're feeling pretty good with our 300 HP minus 80, we have 220 left. Send up Jirachi. I mean, there's no reason of us not building up another energy there. And using Marnie to just ruin our opponent's hands. I'd like to get a Malolana switch combo in another turn, but there's only so much that we could do. Let's go Stellar Wish here. And I'm just going to retreat into this other Jirachi. I know Energy Spinner is not going to be doing much good. So let's just grab Tag Call if that's necessary. Let's just pass our turn here. How many? Uh, I think that's two Electro Powers our opponents used. No, it's only the one. Okay. So our opponent's probably just going to full blitz knock at this Jirachi. Don't think they have too many lightning energies left. At this point, maybe they'll just go for a catcher. Considering they already have played uh, two Pokemon catchers, it's very possible they play a third one. And at this rate, I think it's one of those things where... Oh, there's a tag switch. Maybe they're just trying to get some energies on a different Pokemon. <coughs> Uh, I think they're trying to decide exactly what we're going to do because we're trying to win this game in two turns. And the Malolana, as our, our opponent's already seen one, some decks might play one Malolana, some decks might play four Malolanas. There's definitely no way they know what's going on in this list. And that's one of the biggest advantages that we have is that they're not entirely sure what our list can offer. Because if I heal this Karakosa GX completely... Um, my high density armor does back in, it does go back. So I don't think they'll actually be able to win this game if they attack with full blitz. I mean, they could paralyze us. How many switches have we used? None. Okay, cool. So they're going for the full blitz. They've already used their GX attack. They probably don't have too many energies left in their deck. And let's go for this Malolana play. I mean, at this point, I don't really care about Tag Call too much. So let's go um, Malolana, discarding ADP, discarding Tag Call. Setting up Jirachi, they have no Absol in play. Let's go Stellar Wish. Let's grab another Switch, just in case they bring up something uh, weird. 
we have another energy and let's discard this uh, professor's research. So we're going to retreat and we are going to take a knockout here with ground crush for four prize cards. So really slow to set up. This deck is slow, but we're doing 380 damage. This is where our weakness is, is going to prove the most useful to us. Because if they bring up that Raichu and a Wolven Raichu, we won the game because our opponent conceded. Let's go. We take those. All right. Well, I hope that you enjoyed watching these crazy games with the Caracosta GX ADP deck. Really interesting if you picked up the new collection that features Caracosta GX, that big promo box, or maybe someone gifted it towards you. This is one of the most viable ways to make this card work. Might not be the absolute best deck in the format but it can compete with some top decks such as Zacian ADP and Pikaram as we just watched. That being said, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe to the Rare Candy YouTube channel if you're a patron. Um, thank you so much. If you're not, consider becoming one. Go to patreon.com slash rarecandytcg. Got a bunch of goodies there. You could also go to rarecandytcg.com, pick up some sweet merch. As for me, I'm Zach Lesage. Thank you so much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at Zlassage Pokemon and see exactly what I got going on there. That's it for now, but I'll catch up with y'all real soon. Thanks so much. Have a great one.